Hello, veteran0121 here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Dragon Quest 7. In the last episode, I began exploring Estar. I escorted Maribel here. She wanted to come here for some reason. I'm not really sure. Orca, huh? Smart guy named Orca, huh? Yeah, makes you wonder, right? So these people have no idea what war is, they've never seen it before. Heck, I bet, I bet they wonder why they're even selling weapons. It's kind of odd, isn't it? So we can buy things from this guy if you want. I, of course, am not going to bother. And look, it's Maribel. Hey! Tee hee! I'm not jealous at all. Yeah, whatever. It's alright, buddy. You can have her, man. I do not want her. She is all yours. Yeah, my uncle is kind of useless. You can sure, uh, you can sure pound those drinks, though. Yeah, both troublemakers. What the hell, old lady? Are you kidding me? Climbing the wells all the time. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Yeah, I remember that stairwell or that staircase right there. That's important. Very important. And look at that. We found some shit. What is shit, you ask? Well, I honestly can't remember. <laughs> I'm going to have to look that up again because I can't remember what shit does in this game. I think you use it on monsters and it does something to them. Maybe it puts confuse on them, maybe, or sleep. I can't exactly remember. It does something. Something like that. I never use it. Oh well. <clears throat> if I ever want to run a house... Not like my own. Wow, six months, huh? <laughs> okay. All the weapons and items and good shit. There we go. And this chest is locked. Yeah, 
And this chest is also locked, but we'll be able to open them up later on. Once we get a certain key. Has nothing useful. Wow, what a dump! <laughs> Look at all this shit. Got booze everywhere. Hey, uncle. Man. Yeah, I think breaking all these uh, bottles of booze. I don't think I don't think it actually does anything. I don't think there's anything inside them, if I recall. Okay, all in good time. See the king fairly soon. <laughs> One gold. Thanks. So generous. It's a little bit better. Still not a lot. that dinner. <laughs> A peeping Tom, huh? <laughs> Funny stuff. So he likes to drink and he likes the women. Not surprising. Sorry, little girl. I'm just trying to loot your house. On the X day of the Y month, I borrowed 50 gold coins. Signed, Hundar. Ooh, an IOU. Yeah, better keep tabs on that. Alright, so before I go to the castle, I guess I'm going to check out this... Uh, thingy here. And the door is locked. Alright, we get an int seed that will um, raise your intelligence stat from uh, one to three randomly, of course. Uh, I'm going to save it for later. And in this area right here, you cannot uh, pan the camera 360 degrees. You can only do it like... Yeah, that's it. That's all. That's pretty much all it'll let you do. Doggy. Ok, 
complicated books. And hey, it's an old man. Hey, old man. Uh, sure. Alright, sorry guy, I just wanted to say hi. And apparently these books are uh, a little too complicated for me to read. This old man will be important later. I believe that is everything. Okay, it's time to go to the castle. Castle Guards. How you doing, fellas? Alright. Let's take a look around. Uh, yep. Really? Oh, you're joking, huh? Right. And this guy's sleeping. Wow, sleeping standing up. Again, that is a talent that I wish I had, man. When I was in basic training, we were standing around in formation doing nothing for like, you know, a half hour sometimes. <laughs> Taking little naps would have been nice. Actually, I should probably see what we can buy here, huh? We can buy a pole. Not worth it. None of this shit's worth it. I wouldn't bother. Save your money. Um, later on, it'll be a lot more pertinent. Uh, buying gear. We don't have to worry about monsters anytime soon, so... We'll be fine. Okay. So we can deposit gold here in increments of a thousand gold. And uh, basically you can you can put in the bank so that way when you die, uh, you don't lose it. Because every time that you um, get wiped out in this game, uh, you lose half your gold. So if you don't want that to happen, you gotta put it in the bank. Uh, nope, not yet. Okay. Wallet? Really? I don't believe you, man. I think you're pulling my leg. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I think you've been duped, man. Well, that's my uncle. So that's three different things we know about my uncle. We know he's a drunk, we know he likes women, and he's also a, uh, he's also a swindler. A scoundrel, if you will. Scroll, huh? Who knows what Kiefer's up to, man?
Oh, hey. Hey, King, what's up? This guy's subject. Wow, you're gonna let me sit in your chair? What a guy. Uh, I guess so. Please don't burn me at the stake if I don't. Um. Yes, although I don't know what yet. to convince him to come back, I don't think that's going to work. I mean, I could try, but I'm not promising anything. called the Sunstone. The king has grown remarkably angry because of Prince Kiefer's handling of the jewel. Yeah, alright, I didn't mean to talk to you again. I was trying to search behind the throne thingy around the sides. Okay. Actually, go back up. I just want to check to see if there are anything to find. <laughs> well, maybe you aren't trying enough to uh, get his attention. Probably right. What? So he's not here. Yeah, but yeah, that's his room right there. He's not in his room. So where the hell is he? Hmm. Look at that. It looks like a princess is down there. beyond the sea. Thank you. 
Some magnificent clothing. So let's talk to the princess. Hey, princess. Well, I have no reason to believe otherwise, because I haven't seen any other islands, so yeah, I guess I believe it. dreams together. Thank you for the inspirational pep talk there, princess. in every RPG the NPCs will tell you not to go somewhere so naturally we're gonna be going there yeah well that's what you think buddy you just stick here and read your books all right if you find anything useful let the prince know Mr. Bard guy. Peace to the world. That's odd. Uh, the world's already peaceful enough. <laughs> yeah. I'm making the old man crazy. Okay, so yeah, this is actually the door to the, uh, I want to say the prison, I think. Secret passageway. But yeah, it'll be important later. It's a pretty cool castle, huh? pretty much it. As far as the second floor and everything, but yeah, now we can go up here to the dining area. Hello, ladies. Hmm. 
I bet the chefs liked it. He enjoys the food they make for him, though. some more. Oh, I thought I found shit again. <laughs> uh, it turns out I found an amet donut. Oh, that works. Yeah. Antidote. And look at that. We found spectacles. So this is an accessory. I can't remember what the hell it exactly does. Uh, I guess maybe it's supposed to alter appearance, but it doesn't look like it does anything. But yeah, I'll hold on to it. Yeah. It's one less herb I'll have to buy. So God destroyed the demon lord, huh? Yeah, very mysterious. A god that defeats a demon lord but doesn't want to flaunt it. Doesn't want to flaunt his victory to all the citizens of the world for some reason. Hmm. Thought that's what gods did, man. Flaunt their victories, you know, all that kind of shit. I'm the one true god, brr, brr, brr. you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, they love me. Though I'm not really sure why, because I'm, again, I'm just a fisher kid. I don't get it, man. And I'm thinking, yeah, that room over there with that guard by the map table, we'll be able to get there uh, later. We can't get there right now. At least I don't think we can. I'm pretty sure that we need a raft uh, to go through the moat there in order to get to where that is. But yeah, that won't be until, until later. So there you go. And I guess I'm going to end the video right here. That is all for this episode of Dragon Quest VII. In the next episode, I'm going to head to the ruins in the east. And maybe I'll run into my buddy. Or may actually, maybe I'll stop by Fishbell to see if Kiefer uh, stopped by there first. Maybe. I don't know. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>